Hi, all my divines. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look into December 2021, okay? And we're going to, going to be using the Know Thyself deck. This is a deck that I created myself. And we will also be using the uh, Radiant Y Spirit Tarot. Okay, we're going to be getting into some of these messages that I've already pulled. I've cleaned and um, purified this area as well. So um, please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everybody. But if it resonates with you, make sure to hit that thumbs up, okay? And um, hit that bell so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. This is for all signs and everyone's welcome here. And um, let's just take a look into this Sagittarius energy. Hi everybody, like I said, this is um, going to be a message for December, okay? And this is going to be taking a look into December and what December has for us, what the Most High has for us, okay? So I just wanted to say hello and welcome to all those who clicked on this video, who clicked on this channel, okay? And let's get into this message for y'all. Oh, shout out to all my Sagis and anybody who uh, subscribes to my channel. Shout out to you. Okay. So at the bottom of the Know Thyself, okay, Know Thyself. Um, this month of December, um, Divine Collective, Most High is going to be showing you different things about yourself. Most High is going to also be also going to be enlightening you about many different things, okay? Many different things that have to do with higher level thinking, okay? And higher level um, alchemy. That's what I'm hearing here. You could be a Scorpio watching this video at this time. You could also be a fire sign um, or any sign, okay? Because here we have peace and love and uh, peace, love, and light. And that's to all of the signs. So this message is for all signs. All signs are welcome here. And we are going to get into this message. So, um... <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, okay? The death card came out, and somebody is in a transformation energy, Divine Collective. I feel like this is you come December, okay? Like I said, throughout the whole month of December, I feel like a lot of you are going to be transforming and are going to be getting a deeper dive into yourself. Okay, I'm also hearing a lot of you are going to be ending things for once and for all. That's what I'm also hearing. And um, I'm also seeing um, that a lot of you are going to be going further down the rabbit hole. Okay, you are going to be receiving esoteric knowledge. You are going to be connecting the dots, okay? I'm hearing connecting the dots. I know I don't know if you can see these constellations here. But yeah, a lot of you are going to be connecting the dots to certain situations, maybe to a twin flame connection or maybe to some type of third party situation I'm hearing or maybe um, some type of divine intervention type of situation. Okay, and um, I'm also hearing that um, a lot of you are going to be um, taking a lot of time to yourself, okay, during these weeks of December, all right? I feel like some of you are going to be um, either taking a break before or after, um before or after sometime this month okay you're gonna be taking a break either before christmas or after christmas that's what i'm hearing for some of you this month 
okay and this break is going to be very beneficial to you because this break is going to um help you to start focusing more on yourself okay more on yourself so if you like this message so far go ahead and hit that thumbs up make sure to hit that bell okay and um subscribe all right to the channel so we are going to use this uh right away we're going to be using the right away tarot deck to clarify each one of these cards okay ace of pentacles coming out at the bottom of this deck so a lot of you could be getting a blessing or a um windfall uh um an unexpected windfall that's what i'm hearing here okay an unexpected windfall so um the first card that we are going to turn over is this card right here okay and this card is going to be for the first through the 11th okay the first through the 11th and this has to clarify the rabbit hole and uh 333 divine message okay divine masculine the emperor okay so you could be uh an aries i'm hearing you could be very independent i'm also hearing that you could also be um a, a father or a husband i'm hearing okay this is somebody's husband all right and this person is going deeper you don't have to be a husband you can even be a wife you could be a wife but with the masculine energy to me it seems more like a husband okay more like a masculine energy some females can have double masculine energy some females can have double feminine energy and not be masculine at all okay but um it depends on who you are and you know check out your birth chart but I'm feeling like this is a masculine energy and this masculine is going to be taking a deeper look into themselves, okay? And going to take a deeper look into the divine, which is aka the rabbit hole, okay? And going to start connecting dots more and connecting things in their life that has to do with themselves and the divine, okay? So, uh... That's the first through the 11th. So this second card is through the 12th through the 22nd, okay? So during this time, Divine Masculine, you could be feeling burden around the 12th through the 22nd of um, December, okay, 2021, because of maybe some time, something that have to do with the time. Maybe something is at ending too soon or something is beginning too soon or something is ending too late and beginning too late. I don't know, but I feel like this is something that has to do with divine timing, okay? And you're feeling burdened because of this. This could even have to do with a money situation, but this is Sagittarius, Aries, and a Leo energy. So you could be an Aries, like I said, watching this video, okay? And then this is between the 23rd and the 31st. So there's a feminine energy in your life that is going to be receiving a lot of pentacles. Um, this could be a wife, a mother. This could be also, um, this could be a feminine energy that is causing divine masculine to feel burdened, okay? Because of maybe the holiday season or maybe because of a money situation. But I'm getting that this is um something that is being put to an end and something that is beginning. Okay, with the ace of pentacles here with the uh with the death card right here. Okay, something has to end for something to begin. So, uh let's go ahead and get into this message. See twin flames right here twin flame four of wands so this divine masculine is feeling burdened 
okay because i feel like this feminine is very stable and is putting an end to a situation in december for once and for all okay and this could be their twin flame okay this could be the masculine's twin flame that's what i'm seeing here okay and um i'm also seeing that maybe somebody is wishing somebody else peace love and light like basically piecing this person out that's the energy that i'm getting here with this death card okay because this person this masculine is going to have to go through the dark night of the soul aka go deeper into the rabbit hole okay i feel like to end these burdens a number 10 this is the 10 and 10 means the end aka death all right, so um, let's go ahead and use this deck to clarify what's going on here for the 1st um, of December 2021, okay? Most I thank you so much for these beautiful messages. Please show us, why did you show us the emperor for the rabbit hole for the 1st through the 11th of December 2021? Because then I tell you, this person got to go through the dark night of the soul. This person has a third party situation that is no more. Okay? This third party situation has spilled. And I feel like this person has shed blood, sweat, and tears when it comes to this situation. Okay? This is this masculine energy. And then I tell y'all, this had to do with a twin flame situation. 11, 11 right here. And 11, 11 right here okay somebody this divine masculine is feeling blocked and that's why they're feeling burdened because somebody that's around them this could be a cancer is moving forward from this divine masculine this december okay and i feel like this is um 11 11 one o'clock right now this cancer um knows that somebody is moving forward from them and this is the person from their past that they are in regret over the first week of December, okay? Because I feel like this person has some type of emotions that they want to express but are not expressing, okay? Yeah, because they feel like they missed the opportunity when it comes to expressing their emotions to you, uh, Divine Collective, okay? This emperor... Maybe an Aries could be a Cancer. I'm seeing heavy water. So, and with the chariot, this is giving me Cancer vibes. This person is getting karma big time. Okay, yeah. And they want this new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, with you, Divine Collective. And they want to communicate with you about this burden. This first week uh, and a half of December. This first quarter of December, I'm going to say. This person is going through the dark night of the soul. They're taking a deeper look into themselves, okay? Because they, like I said, was in a third party and it did not work, all right? And so now they are connecting the dots about certain things and they want to communicate to you. But they know and they feel like you are judging them. And not only that, that they are under judgment by the Most High God. Okay, so Mosa, why did you show us this um, burden, this ten of wands, this heavy feeling for divine masculine um, energy this first, this second quarter of December, the 12th through the 22nd? Why did you show us this? Okay, because this uh, person, Divine Collective, is really paying close attention to you. This person also sees that you are going forward into new endeavors and you are offered a new, um, a new life. That's what I'm hearing here. And you are uh, separated from this person. This person could also be in bur in burden, 
energy because they are feeling ill. They are feeling ill because they can't do anything but focus on you and um, your Ten of Pentacles, Divine Collective. Okay, because they know that you're the high priestess and very intuitive. Okay, this person is really not focusing on what they're supposed to be focusing on. Because if you take a look at this, he's looking at you. Okay, he's looking at you. So this energy is very burdened because they're not focusing on their pentacle. They're focusing on you and or your pentacles. All right, and what you got going on. Because it's very mysterious to this person. This come um come this second half, second quarter of December. Because this person sees that you have help from someone. Okay? They see you have help. And they see that you have love. Okay? And they also see that you have someone, I feel like, that matches your energy. Or this could be your significant other, maybe your husband. Okay, that's not really in this King of Pentacles energy. Okay, because they're in the this energy, the Emperor, a very stubborn energy. Okay. Yeah, and this person wants to offer you a cup of love this second half of this, this second quarter of December. So my, this, this masculine is going to want to come and offer you some love. Or this could be a feminine that has all her things together and is very rooted and grounded and stable. That's what I'm hearing here. Take it how it resonates. But um, if this is not a feminine, then this is a husband and wife situation. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And this husband knows that, look, Knight of Pentacles, that there is somebody else that is coming towards you that's more serious and more stable than they were. And that's why you have the Ten of Pentacles. And that's why this person is sick and burdened. Ten of Pentacles, they have the Ten of Wands. Ten, ten. And if you see ten, ten, this message could be for you. Okay, so this person could come to you, like I said, want to communicate with you during the second week and a half of December. Okay, so let's see what's going on around the 23rd and the 31st, the 23rd through the 31st with this Queen of Pentacles most high. Show us what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. This masculine is burdened And that's the truth, the whole truth And nothing but the truth Because he know that you This energy knows that you are a stable a Dependable, reliable type of energy And this is really killing them That they are not going to be with you During this time Moving into the new year Because like I said You ended this for good Divine uh, collective In the spiritual realm This is ended for good Okay, once and for all. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Ace of Swords done came out, y'all. Okay, so now it's going to be a conflict. It could be a conflict at the end of this month, everybody. Okay, it could be a conflict, most high said, at the end of this month because this person is going to be stressed out. This person is going to be stressed out to the core. Okay, because you're very stable and abundant and secure, and they are not. Okay, and they they can't stop thinking about the past when it comes to you, especially at night when it's time to lay down, because they have all of these negative thoughts in their head. Okay, a fight. So, Most High, why did you show us this fight at the end of the month? Because they don't have no Ten of Pentacles and you do. Divine Feminine. Do you see this? Do you see this? And this is the person from your past that want to fight you and cause you conflict because you have this. And they don't. Two different decks. Divine masculine and divine feminine. 
Okay, so Divine Feminine, you have somebody that's in your life that's helping you out. That's why you have this Ten of Pentacles, because you was blessed with this person from Divine. Okay, and Most High said that you will, and this person is left out in the cold. I'm telling y'all, this is what it is. And they don't want to let you go. Four and five of Pentacles. And most I said, you was blessed with this. And this person got a nurse who want to fight you, Divine Collective. That's why most I said, this is it. Once and for all, 1919. So most I, why did you show us this four of wands? Why did you show us this four of wands for the end, for the new year? Matter of fact, we didn't even clarify the death. I'm sorry. Most I, why did you show us the death come this end of of December 2021. What is this transformation all about? Thank you. Putting a death to whoever is mentally imprisoned over you and is trying to bind you and trying to blind you. Okay? So you don't see the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay, Divine Collective? Then I say they were trying to bind you. My word, I didn't see this at the end of the at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to bind you and blind you, close up your third eye so that you can't see anything or know anything about what's going on. Okay, because remember, I showed you the high priestess, right? Yes, very intuitive, and they know that. Yo, come on now, come on, y'all, y'all see this? Most highs in the building. want to do magic on you divine collective because you are the high priestess okay and they want to bind you they want to bind your gifts okay this is your husband divine masculine okay wow mm -hmm. watching you instead of watching what he's supposed to be watching his self okay because this person is still having nostalgic thoughts about the past and how much they loved you, all right? And that's why um, they're doing magic on you so that you can be bound. Not only bound, but not only mentally bound, but bound to them as well. That's what I'm hearing here. And that's why Most High is putting it to the end, putting it to death once and for all, okay? So now, Four of Wands, Most High. Show us why you show us the Four of Wands, please. Because mm. Most High is giving you your true twin flame, okay? And that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth come this new year, 2022, y'all. All right? Yes, because Most High is saying block this energy, okay, until you get your new opportunity, 22. I just seen 222, y'all, okay? Yes, 222. Go look that up. Because if you see that, this message is for you. Most High is blessing you with an ace of cups. That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, y'all. Okay? So, yes, continue to block this energy that you've been blocking, okay? Because they're going to try some tricky stuff, y'all. They are. They're going. This masculine is going to try some tricky stuff, I'm trying to tell y'all. They surely are, because I just lost one of my cards just now. I don't even know where it went. You see that? They're going to try to cause you to feel lost and try to make you feel like you crazy. But most I said, you're not. You're not at all. you about peace, love, and light, and you know yourself. Okay, so let's see. We're going to pull one on this peace, love, and light. Why does come out like this? Because this person is doing magic as well with the divine masculine okay well i'm not gonna say the, the divine masculine this is the karmic masculine okay yeah they trying to do magic on your peace loving like page of want with ace of want the most i said never that because you get injustice and they defended that point blank period poo not playing with you boom okay so one last but not least know thyself most high Know thyself. Clarify the know thyself. Because this divine mask, this masculine does not know thyself. 
they don't and that's why they in mental imprisonment because they try to be sneaky and try to be slick mr sly fox and ended up hurt and sick as hell look at this ten of swords done ten of wands ten of swords this person is done put a fork in them why because they do not know thyself Okay, so this month is going to be very interesting. There could be a conflict at the end of this month, okay, because somebody is still being very sneaky, which is the masculine, and is still being very, um, being very, um, sneaky and being feeling very burdened, okay? So, most high is going to make sure that this person gets a lesson, okay? Because they need to put that ego away, Divine Masculine. You need to put that ego away, all right? Because that will help you to lessen your burdens, okay? We're going to pull one last, um, we're going to pull one last message on here before we go. Where we going to get it from? The Moonology, because the new moon is coming, okay? We're going to get it from the Moonology deck. So if you like this message, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, you can comment to enter that November giveaway, which is going to be announced on Wednesday next week, okay? Musa, clarify each one of these um, cards that you have given us concerning the month of December 2021. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Clarify the emperor and the rabbit hole. A time to give rather than take. Okay, you hear that. Look, it came out for all of them. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Be bold and take the first move. Queen of Pentacles, be bold and take the first move. Okay. And the answers you need are coming. The full moon and Gemini. Answers you need are coming. Okay. And last but not least. Meditate on your spirituality and your practicality. What did I say? Full moon and Pisces. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my new message.